After rumors their marriage is on the rocks, Keith Urban and Nicole Kidman have made a huge decision. They're two disparate people, he a country singer, she a Hollywood actress. But Keith Urban and Nicole Kidman seem to go together like a horse and carriage. However, they've been married for over a decade and rumors still persist about the health of their relationship. It was highlighted again at this year's Emmy Awards when many claimed Urban was annoyed by his spouse kissing her co-star. But now the couple have made a momentous decision, one that should put to rest any whispers and speculation. And it just may take you by surprise. Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban first met in 2005 at the Good Day USA Gala. It proved to be love at first sight, but Kidman wasn't sure at first. She told Ellen in 2013, I'm like, you didn't love me at first sight, you didn't notice me. And he's like, yes I did, but I just didn't let on. And we kind of met and then about four months later he called me. The call from Urban certainly went well as the pair quickly became infatuated with each other. So much so in fact that they got engaged in the spring of 2006. After just a short time knowing each other, then Kidman and Urban were getting ready for their big day. Speaking to Ellen in 2014, Kidman reminisced on the speedy engagement. She said, I kind of like getting married and then getting to know each other. I know it sounds incredibly strange, but to me, it's a more natural process. On June 25th of 2006, the couple said their vows and got married. The ceremony took place in Kidman's adopted homeland of Sydney, Australia, and featured many celebrity figures at the wedding. Among them were the likes of Naomi Watts, Hugh Jackman, and Russell Crowe. However, shortly after the big occasion, Urban went through some personal trials of his own. In October of that same year, he checked himself into the Betty Ford Center to tackle his alcohol abuse problems. The popular performer has been open about his issues with substance abuse and in 2006, he felt it was time for a change. Devoted to her new husband, Kidman flew back from a promotional trip to offer him her full support. However, Urban said his demons weren't easy to overcome. Speaking of his problems with alcohol, he told People Magazine in 2017, I was going to lose it all. He went on, you can choose life or you can go the other way. It's not a matter of all the intricate stuff in between, it's just life or no life. Before speaking about how difficult it was for his spouse, saying, it was very, very hard to have to have her go through that. 90 days after first arriving, Urban checked out of the rehab facility. On the road to recovery, Urban began to concentrate on family matters with Kidman and in July of 2008, the couple became parents. The two lovebirds brought their first child, Sunday Rose Kidman Urban, into the world. Then in 2010, they brought another addition into the family via a surrogate, Faith Margaret Kidman Urban, and it seems Kidman's not done just yet when it comes to children. The star told Ellen 2014, my grandmother had her last at 49. Every month I'm like, I hope I'm pregnant. However, after all of the ups and downs that have transpired during their 10 plus years together, rumors still abound about the state of their marriage. Indeed, the gossiping began again earlier this year after Kidman gave her Big Little Lies co-star, Alexander Skarsgård, a kiss on the lips at the Emmy Awards. Some have speculated that her actions have caused a rift in the relationship, with one source coming forward to speak about Urban's displeasure regarding the smooch. The person even stated that he felt she was disrespecting and humiliating him. And now in a new twist to events, it seems the two celebrities are ready to renew their marriage vows. The revolution comes by way of In Touch, which claims the pair are preparing to say their I do's one more time. It's certainly a big decision for the glamorous couple to make, but it's one which an insider claims is vital for the both of them. They told In Touch that Urban has realized that he can't live without Nicole and has asked her to renew their vows. Nicole thinks it's a great idea. Unlike their first ceremony, however, the source asserts that this time they want the event to be more muted. The pair want to keep their special day as private as possible, so only their closest family and friends will be invited. They said, it's going to be very low-key and very romantic. As to where it will be taking place, well, the insider claims to know this too. They're secretly organizing an intimate beach ceremony for this winter in Hawaii, where Nicole was born, they said. As it happens, despite growing up in Australia, Kidman's birthplace was the Aloha State. The couple's touching plan to renew their vows would certainly reaffirm their love for one another.
and after years of rumors it may also offer the perfect opportunity to quash any further tabloid speculation. Symbolically too, the couple would appear to be leaving behind the problems of the past and moving forward into greener pastures. Together though, they have empowered each other ever since they first met. Kidman told Vanity Fair in 2007, I think we were two lonely people. I would probably say that two very lonely people managed to meet at a time when they could open themselves to each other. We were a mixture of frightened and brave. But perhaps Urban put it best in his 2007 interview with People magazine. She said early on that she wanted to be brave with me, he stated. I feel there was something else at work, bringing us together and then just continuing to watch over us. Whatever it is, long may it continue to watch over you, Keith.